This is a really cool game by Neil.Fun for infinite crafting. Now, a number of people have asked how to save your, your working state and whatnot. Um, let's see, this means clear the board. This means reset completely. All right, so that's new as far as reset completely. And it looks like buy me a coffee. Yep. <laughs> But let's, uh, let me show you how to actually use a couple of these um, scripts that people have posted on for how to save and, and another one for how to on, on searching. So the first thing you gotta be able to do in your browser is turn on dev tools, um, which is here under view, dev tools, uh, and inspect elements. So if I click right click and I say inspect this little uh, section will come up. This is what developers use when they're building things. I don't know how that works on iPhone or iPad, if that's even possible. It may not be. It might be in Safari on iOS, because I have done it there a long time ago. Um, but the next thing you gotta do is go to console. Now, this is can be dangerous. So don't just paste anything in here. I have tried this already and it seemed it looks safe. So I am, uh, so uh, someone posted this script in, um, into Twitter for how to save a state. So if I copy all this code right here, copy that, go back to infinite craft, and then I hit paste inside my console. Oh, it actually did it. And then hit enter you can see the save and restore buttons here now. Now, if you paste it in and it says, we don't recommend pasting or something like that, then you there's there's something you gotta write, like allow paste. Um, but now that I've done that, let's throw a couple of these things together so I can hit save. It doesn't do anything, but it saved it to local storage. Actually, I'm in incognito mode right now, so it might not. Let's refresh mountain range okay so it's still saved those oh and then once i hit refresh i gotta go back and paste that thing in again paste that hit restore so i haven't lost anything okay anyways that's how it works um using this state savement saver here's uh my one of mine that i've already played for a while and I've saved it. If I hit restore, I can load that stuff back up. Now let me show you one other script that somebody posted and it's this one on uh, Hacker News where a lot of people have commented on this. So if you copy this code right here, and then if I open this inspect tool up again, go to console and paste that in and hit enter, I now have a search bar up here that filters all of the elements that you can craft from. So I don't have very many right now, but if you look at this one that, where I have thousands already, it can be helpful. Actually, I don't have it turned on, so let's do that. Inspect, console, paste, enter. So now you can see that I have the search tool, fire. So anything with fire, Darth, anything with Darth. Okay, now that's a very tiny search bar and it disappears. Let's do this. Element, inspect, grab that input text right there. I'm gonna say position sticky. That's gonna make it, st well, it didn't. Width, 100%, so it fills that out. Height, I'm gonna say 50 pixels to make it bigger. And let's see, does it, it's still not sticky. I thought it would be sticky. Side, oh no, I just did it, something wrong. Okay, input. Maybe if I make the sidebar position relative? Nope, 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 can't do that. I thought this would work for sticky. Fixed, that works. Um, but not everything is visible now. I had it sticky earlier and it worked just fine like that. Anywho.
how did I do that? What I would like to do is put a, t a binding on here, a key, key binding, so I could just press like Command K and it would click into this. So I wouldn't have to um, go with my mouse and tap into it each time. But that's two improvements that I saw people create. Um, and I think making this a sticky element is also a good improvement. But since I can't, I'll just make it fixed. And since those items are hidden underneath that fixed item, I'm gonna grab sidebar, I'm gonna say padding top 60 pixels. What? What? No, not that. Okay, so sidebar input this thing. Padding top 50 pixels. There we go. So now you can see all of your elements and they're not hidden behind the search bar. So that's a super simple way to implement save, restore, and a filterable search. I bet other people will improve on it even more. Hope you enjoyed. Give me a follow.